Oh yes, archery vlog time. It's definitely much too windy to be doing this, but it's such a nice day. It's nice and cool, so I figured I would trek on down to my backyard and try out these Vegas targets. So I've made some changes to my bow. Um, I had the Virtus um, arrow rest replaced uh, because the old one failed. Not 100% sure why, but it stopped. Ooh, the old shoulder's a bit rusty. It stopped, um, I don't know, falling down quick enough. And uh, I think the arrows were knocking it on the way past as it started to slow down. So I got it replaced under warranty. The lovely folks down at Abbey Archery in Brisbane helped me out. Ooh, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> but that's done. It's kind of an interesting thing. I've, I've always sort of had it in my mind that you should buy once, cry once. But uh, even apparently even if you spend 150 plus dollars on an arrow rest, it can still fail. Oh, the wind is pushing my bow all around. All around here and all around there. Not bad. Not good, but not bad. Anyway, so, new arrow rest. And while I was there, I also picked up this Cartel V-Bar. Now, my dude at the shop tells me that they're really meant for recurves, but I wanted to try a stabilizer on the front and a stabilizer on the back. So I have a carbon stabilizer from Wins, whoever that is, no idea what the brand is. That was untidy. And a Cartel Maxian on the front. I think the front is a 12 and the back is a 10, maybe? Might be the other way around, not 100% sure. But I ended up unscrewing the weights off the front and the back one and switching them over. So there's a little bit more weight behind the bow and it seems to sit there quite nicely. Quite dead in the hand. And they were all pretty cheap. The, um, the reason I went with this V-Bar, even though it's for um, recurves, was just to, uh, to see how it went. It was only like $7 in their bargain bin. So I thought, how can I possibly go wrong? Let's uh, just give it a go and see what happens. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna call this a nine. I'll call this an eight. That's definitely an eight, there's no squiggling around that. And we'll call this a 10. This is a 10. Should have let that one down. It was blowing all over the place. But um, one of my coping mechanisms that I've put in place for my dodgy shoulder um, has been to bump the poundage down. I've got the 60 pound um, modules on there. Being that this is a Vertex, you can change the weight with the modules. So I've got my limbs completely bottomed out and the 60 pound modules in there. And it's really nice to shoot with the 60 pound modules on. It's still pretty quick. I felt better. I felt much better. Proper pull through. It's not uh, lightning fast like it was with the 70 pound modules on it, but um, it shoots good. It's still so smooth to draw, so lovely to let it go. Take that. It looks like two in the gold. Gold's a good color. Is that three rounds or two rounds? I can't remember. I need an abacus, my kingdom for an abacus. As well as that, I had them, uh, my dudes down there at um, Abbey Archery in Brisbane, tied me in a new peep sight. Uh, for whatever reason, I had one of these exact same peeps on my bear, which I no longer have. I sold to a friend of mine. Just because I wasn't using it. For the longest time, I wasn't shooting either bow, so. Um, it seems prudent to liquidate that one. 
Um, very nice bow, very nice to shoot. Excellent value for money. Has a lot of features that most bows in that price range don't have. And it was just very stable and nice to shoot, quite light. But I didn't need it, and I definitely wasn't selling this one, so... Mm. Ooh, it's windy. Blowing me around. Anywho, uh, the peep sight that I had on that one was the same as this one. And it's the same sized hole as I had before, but for whatever reason, this peep sight, it's, it feels bigger. You now sometimes you look through a peep sight and it just like gives you a bit more light than it should. And I feel like this one is a, it's ever so slightly larger. Nice, nice, nice. I am loving this bow still. I do kind of wish that I waited and got the VXR with the ever so slightly longer axle to axle length, because this is a 30 and the VXR is a 31.5 and I reckon 31 and a half is probably the best possible balance, I think, with, with a long riser bow like that one. Because this one's really nice, but the thing that made the bear so stable and easy to shoot, I think, was that it was a 32 inch axle to axle. That one felt good. Looked pretty good too. I don't really know what the rules are for shooting Vegas properly. I am at 18 meters. Um, but usually you shoot it indoor, I think. And I'm obviously outside in the wind and I'm using a bow that's probably a bit too quick, even at 60 pounds, because it was shooting these arrows at 310 or 320 feet per second, I think. Probably 315-ish. Let's run with that. <laughs> at 70 pounds, but now we're at 60 pounds. And these are 420 grain arrows. Just shop arrows. Lovely. Lovely. Starting to get back into the rhythm of it just as I'm about to knock off. And my dudes down there at uh, Abbey also advised me that I should probably get a new set of strings. Not that this set is worn out, but um, that I should get a new set and keep this set as a spare, um, which seemed like solid advice. So I ordered a new set. Um, can't remember what brand but you'll probably see them in the next episode. You just have to find the time to go down there and pick them up, have them installed. Ugh, that was a bad release. Still a pretty good shot though. So I think I'm gonna uh, cut it away there while I'm ahead. I reckon a few five round uh, sessions is probably a good way to go about things without um, putting too much strain on the old bow day. Um, but yeah, one of the things I found with um, working through a shoulder injury is that um, my particular circumstance is that I've got subacromial bursitis, which is uh, like heavy inflammation of the little sac that allows your shoulder to move around nicely. And the thing that I found has helped the most has actually been, uh, I went out and bought some cricket balls and I've been like putting them on my little um, stretching mat and rolling around on them, getting a good, uh, a real hardcore deep tissue massage. You find the part that uh, hurts and you're like, yeah, that hurts. Then you find the part that really hurts and you're like, oh, oh, we're nearly there. And then finally, you find the part that hurts like you wouldn't believe. And you hang around on there for like 10, 15 minutes, just like really digging into that part that hurts the most. And uh, I've been finding that I can, I can work out again and um, I also get a couple of days worth of relief afterwards. I don't tend to have any um, sharp pains. And at the moment, um, the last couple of days, I think it's been three days since I uh, did my last workout where I actually spent a good amount of time rolling on those cricket balls and doing that deep tissue massage. Um, just this morning, it started to hurt again. So day three, and it's time to work out again. So I'm gonna go and, I think that's what I'll do now. I'll uh, get off my ass and go and jump in the gym and have me a good old time. So yes, if you are having um, trouble with your shoulders and it is that sort of same inflammation type, you might have some success, get some pain relief. Um, Google 
Leva, le, I'll, I'll put it here, levator scapulae. I think those are the muscles like uh, that lift up and drop down your shoulders and that's what's really really tight in my back from uh, probably from doing too many deadlifts and for really scrunching my back up when I'm uh, bracing to do squats and bench press as well. So that's probably what's doing it um, but that's what's really helping me at the moment. So giddy up, giddy up. Hopefully you get some relief from that. Give it a go. I think you Yanks who are watching um, probably don't know what a cricket ball is but your equivalent would be a lacrosse ball. Hard, hard ball about the size of your fist. So yeah, have a crack at that. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe. I'm gonna do more of these and they keep them short and sweet so that they're easy to do, um, easy to edit, and I can uh, punch them out more regularly because I've been neglecting my archery. So yes, more coming soon. Toodaloo.